Hi all, I am Fahad, application engineer here at Analog Devices. Today, I will be demonstrating on how we can use the reference switch input in TMC5160 with the help of an evaluation board. For this demo, I am using the TMC5160 evaluation board consisting of the TMC5160 IC, which is a high power stepper motor controller and a driver with serial communication interfaces. It also combines a flexible RAM generator for automatic target positioning and incorporates algorithms such as stealth job, spread cycle, cool step, and so on. It also includes two digital inputs, name left reference input and right reference input, which we call Rafael and Rafar respectively. By configuring the SW mode register for position latching feature, these digital inputs can be used for applications related to homing and positioning the motor. User can connect a binary sensor directly to reference inputs and start or stop the motor. This will eliminate using an intelligent sensor with I2C or SPI communication, where the host must communicate with the sensor and control the motor. In this demo, I'll be showing how to control a stepper motor using a simple IR binary sensor. For the hardware setup, I have with me an Arduino microcontroller, TMC5160 evaluation board, Trinamic QSH42182 phase stepper motor, and an infrared sensor. Let's see the hardware connections. Since I'm using the SPI communication, I connected MISO, MOSI, serial clock, and chip select pins of evaluation board to the respective SPI pins of the microcontroller board. The VCC IO and ground pins of evaluation board are connected to 5 volt and ground of microcontroller board. The clock 16 pin must be connected to ground to enable the internal clock of the IC. The SPA mode is pulled high for activating the SPA communication. Also, the enable pin is pulled low to enable the driver. 24 volt supply is given to the evaluation board from a DC source. The IR sensor is powered from the 3.3 volt output of the Arduino and the output of the sensor is connected to the Rafael digital input of the evaluation board. Finally, the microcontroller board is connected to the PC. Here I have made a conveyor belt setup to visualize the use of reference switch feature. The object is placed on one end of the conveyor on the other end, the IR sensor is attached directly to the evaluation board. Once the object approaches the IR sensor, output of the sensor goes low and the motor will be stopped, halting the conveyor belt. Once the connections are done, open the Arduino IDE. Here I have a code to do the required configurations for selecting the SPI communication setting the chopper configurations, setting the run and hold current, then setting up the velocity ramp and enabling the left reference switch input. There are two ways to stop the motor using the reference switch. It can be stopped abruptly, which we call hard stop. This is useful in applications where emergency or quick stoppage is required. But with high load attached, sudden stoppage can put the driver at risk due to the back EMF generation. To avoid such conditions, we can use soft stop where the motor can be softly decelerated to zero based on the ramp deceleration settings. For this demo, I have enabled hard stop for the motor. Let us now load the code into the micro. Here you can see the conveyor belt starts moving and once the object reaches the sensor, the motor is stopped immediately. And when the object is removed, the motor starts again. From the video, we can see how easy it is to use the reference switch input in TMC5160. For more details, visit the Trinamics website. Thank you and see you next time.